Welcome to another edition of the Microsoft Perfume Quick Start series. Today, I would like to talk about lineage, data lineage, and more specific about dynamic data lineage and the thing I found out a few days ago. Lineage is one of those most important things to consider when you want to know more about your data estate. And data lineage, well, the non-scientific definition of data lineage, well, it's about where does my data come from? Where does my data go to? And uh, actually, what happens on the way of your data? What are the different data stores that are involved? What are the different transformations and processes? Within Microsoft Perfume, you've got that nice lineage view, and there are different shapes and different things that are there. And uh, there is, first of all, those data stores that are there. So data stores like data lake storages or SQL databases that are there and data is stored there and data assets are there. On the other hand, there are things that are in between those data stores, those processes that really do the data transformation that takes data from A and stores it into another data source. And these are transformations. As of today, there are Azure Data Factory pipelines, there are Synapse pipelines or integration services packages are supported as data lineage processes that do connect those information. What do you need in order to get data lineage from Data Factory into Perfu? Well, you need a copy activity, a pipeline. A copy activity is, well, a thing that does copy your data from A to B. What you need that that lineage information from that copy activity. Now, example, it's copying data from data lake storage into another data lake storage folder. Well, you need to connect your Perfu account, or you start within Data Factory, and you need to connect to a Perfu account. So you need to connect to, in my example, it's the Perfu Wolfgang catalog and account I'm going to connect. Uh, you get two main functionalities. First of all, you get the search your data catalog within Data Factory. And the other thing you get is the data lineage, the pipeline push. So everything that is considered for the, the lineage information from Perfu is pushed from Data Factory into Perfu. If you run the pipeline, you can have a look at those pipeline runs and what you see is well we've got the activity runs of our uh, copy activity and we've got the information that the lineage status and the lineage information is pushed into our data map into our data catalog of Perfu. So that is the thing that is required. You need to start and execute that pipeline that lineage information is pushed from Data Factory into the Microsoft Perfu environment. It's not there if you just create that pipeline. There's one thing we often use in our projects. It's called dynamic pipelines. It's called metadata-driven pipelines. And what we do is, well, we don't want to develop pipelines that have hard-coded copy activities. We want to have some sort of config tables, and we have a lookup activity that queries the list of tables and objects to load, and we've got a for each loop in there. And within that Azure Data Factory pipeline, we've got parameters, we've got variables that use that information. And we've got parameterized data sets, generic data set, as you can see here. And it's using the item variable and some properties of that item variable. What wasn't possible until a few days, I found out uh, about it, is that dynamic data lineage that uh, wasn't pushed from Azure Data Factory or Synapse into Microsoft Perfu. It wasn't it was an unsupported uh, feature. And now let's have a look. What we can see here, it's a simple hard-coded copy activity, and it really specifies what are my data sources, what are my data destinations. So we are copying data from A to B, and it's hard-coded. 
no dynamic in there, no parameters, no variables is used. If we head over to Perfue, to the data factory pipeline, data asset and lineage, oh, there's no lineage in here. It's not a way label. And you might ask, why is there? Well, it's not a way label for a pipeline. Data lineage is a way label for the copy activity itself. So it's only the copy activity that produces lineage information. So I'm switched to the copy activity data asset, the lineage information, and what you can see here, it's the lineage graph. We've got that highlighted piece in the middle. It's my copy activity. We've got the source, which is lying in a data lake. We've got the copy activity and we've got the destination, the Azure SQL database table that is there. What you can also have a look at, and it's marked there, it's a column level lineage. How does it look on the uh, data producing side? It's the copy activity run. We can have a look at the information, how many rows, how many bytes are produced. And it's that icon over here that indicates that the lineage information is pushed from the Azure Data Factory into our Perfu data catalog. So that is the simple task of a hard-coded pipeline. Now let's switch over to the dynamic pipeline, which yeah, has a lookup activity that queries some sort of config table. In our case, it's uh, getting three lines and three information pieces like customer product and product description table. And we need to copy the data, uh, data from sources into those destination tables. So that lookup activity gets the information and we've got the for each activity. And that for each activity has one parameter, the items collection. And that is, well, bound to the output of our lookup activity. And within that for each activity, we've got yeah, a for each loop. And we've got one simple copy activity, which uses parameterized data sets for the source. And those data sets are bound to the item properties like source schema and destination schema and source table and uh, destination table. Whenever you run that pipeline, you get the information that there are some tables available here, like three tables are queried by the lookup activity. The output is put into the for each activity and we've got three executions of the copy activity. We've got the lineage information over here. So we've got the product, the customer, the product description table over there. And we've got the successful push of our uh, lineage into Perfue. So that is the part you need to do. You need to run that activity. You need to run that pipeline, sorry, in order to get the lineage information. Now let's head over to the Perfue, search for the pipeline run, open that pipeline, and um, Again, no lineage information available here. Head over to the copy activity, head over to the right copy activity, and uh, voila, we've got the lineage information. We've got the activity, the copy activity in the middle. We've got three uh, sources, we've got three destinations uh, in there, and it's everything coming out of a metadata driven pipeline from Azure Data Factory or you could also use uh, Synapse pipelines. What you can also have a look at is the column level information, column level lineage information, because that one is pushed to from Data Factory into the Perfu data catalog. Very nice and handy feature. I haven't seen it in action before and I found out by accident. So if you have dynamic metadata driven pipelines in action and you want to have that information, that lineage information in Perfu, it's there. Just try it out. Have fun, be curious, and uh, happy data cataloging.